Hello Augies Worldwide, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Christopher Reynolds. Chris is KB1NLW, and he has uh, an interesting question, a question that uh, I think a lot of people have, and that is, Will the antenna have highest efficiency if tuned for resonance and then low SWR achieved through a tuner, or if the antenna is adjusted for lowest SWR, eliminating the need for a tuner and its losses and reducing feed line losses? That's a very interesting question, and we'll look at some of the pros and cons of that. First, I want to say a special thank you to KD7OCO, a very recent patron of this channel, helping to support it. You too can become a patron by going to patreon.com slash ke0og. Now let's take a look at uh, Chris's question. Okay, here's, you know, your antenna impedance is composed of a real element plus a um, reactive element, um, which we'll call X, okay? A real plus the reactive element. Now, to tune an antenna to resonance means that X equals zero. Okay, there is no reactive element. That is defined as resonance. And what you are left with is R. But if R is not equal to 50 ohms, then the SWR will be greater than 1 to 1, okay? If the R is not equal to 50 ohms, the SWR will be greater than 1 to 1. Let's take the case where uh, R is 25 ohms. This is covered in the general class manual, where R is 25 the SWR will be 2 to 1 at resonance, okay? This is the thing that people get kind of confused about. So what we want to do is, to, if you want to tune to resonance, you get X equals 0, you can do that. However, if you tune for lowest SWR, X will not be 0, You'll have a little reactance, but you can bring up the resistance closer to 50 ohms. So you're playing a balancing game here. So what happens is, and usually these frequencies are pretty close together. So there will be a frequency of resonance. Let's draw an SWR curve for a band here, 40 meters, okay. SWR is lowest at a certain frequency, you may find that the resonance is actually here. Now, when we're dealing with SWR, we're dealing with both reactance and resistance. And so we look at a graph, and we want the resistance to be 50 ohms. Let's suppose it's down here. Well, if we start adding reactance, Okay, over here, we can pick a spot down here where we'll actually get 50 ohms. You'll have a slightly lower SWR. So what do you want to tune for? Okay, so, you know, we could go through a lot of math or something like that. But the bottom line is if you tune for resonance, you'll get resonance. But the actual R value could be something that's quite different from 50 ohms. So if you tune a little bit off from that and add some reactants, remember the way that uh, the SWR equation works is it's the absolute value of the reflection coefficient. So in other words, if you tune slightly off, the, uh, res the SWR uh, and the reflection coefficient that the transmitter is looking at can actually go down the antenna can absorb more energy and uh, radiate that. Now, um, if you have an SWR less than about 1.5 to 1, I'd stop there. 
uh, just connect that straight through to the radio. However, if it goes above that, you probably are going to want to touch that up with your tuner. Now, a tuner, people say they have losses, and they do. When you have high SWR, you have very high circulating currents. Those high circulating currents, even though the, um, the, when you have the high circulating currents, they can go through the wire in the coils and uh, actually start to create heat because they're so high. The wires in the coils are actually slightly resistive. So there you have it. Uh, you've got um, the case of um, tuning for lowest SWR, which is what you want to do, okay? Uh, and accepting the fact that there's going to be some reactants. And then you can use the antenna tuner in your rig to touch it up. And I would recommend doing that because... Um, if the SWR is more than about 1.5 to 1, the reflected power that comes back from the antenna is dissipated as heat in the um, transistors in the final amplifier in your radio. And that's not a good thing. Now note that they're, radi they're, they're uh, uh, rated for that, but why not use a antenna tuner, the one in your radio, to collect that energy and send it right back out to the antenna uh, with the proper phase, and it will do that. So you can get that extra energy radiated eventually. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Um, there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you can go to dkassler.com support. And until we next meet, 73.